out there every night? Until your client's horse won't even cross a bridge. Well, I'll go stay up a lot. Train. Mm -hmm. You've got. Watch this. Up to two tons an acre of hay if it's nice fertilized. Mm -hmm. We've got 20 tons of hay off of that a year. Feed our horses. If you did five acres and just did it in hay. Let me use the other five acres for the horses. Oh, I see what you mean. Like split it, the first five by the road, make that the hay field. Or the one, or whichever one got the best irrigation, the drier one would be better for the but horses. How do you how do you get the horses from the barn to the one at the long walk to get them to the other half? But yeah, you could, or you could rotate them. Because when and once you've had your second cutting, if you get two cuttings, then you can have them on it. Because yeah. that one, it's not it's so green and lush and not good for them. Yeah, we'll get them little turnouts in it, and then, and then in springtime when it's starting to grow, you keep them off of it. Oh yeah, you do the five acres out by the road. Mm -hmm. And the horse is closer to the house. This is a train. It's a long train, huh, Jeremy? It was so funny, so when I came home, I turned there, Lower Bridge Road. And then turning up, there's a 31st there by where we used to get the hay and meat. And it said, you know, road work ahead. You know, so you pull up, flagger, so I'm not four cars back and stop. And you can see the paving, paving equipment up there. And we're waiting and waiting. 